What's giddy peeps, it's your boy King Paul and I'm back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be giving advice to all incoming freshmen who are about to attend their first year in college. But before we even get this video started, I just want to take this time out to let you guys know that I'm about to host my third annual school supply drive on August 23rd from 2pm to 4pm. Most of you guys may not know this, but I started a non-profit organization in 2017 called Lit Off Life. And I named it Lit Off Life because you know a lot of people in our generation are always saying they're lit. And most of the times whenever people say they're lit, they usually mean that they're lit off of liquor or some type of drug. And I just want to promote to the youth that you don't have to drink or get high off of anything to be lit or have fun. With that being said, for the past two years, my good friend DJ Lil Tunde and I have given out over 100 school supplies for free to people in Maryland. And we're about to do it for the third year in a row. So I'm about to post a flyer right now. And I want you guys to screenshot this, save the date, save the address, and pull up. We're gonna be giving away over 100 free supplies. There's gonna be some bomb jello fries to eat along with some free drinks, and there's gonna be a lot of free prizes as well. So if you know any parent in the DMV area who is going through some financial issues that could use some help with getting their kids some supplies for this upcoming school year, definitely send them the flyer and tell them to pull up. And even if you don't know anybody in need of some school supplies and you live in the state of Maryland, just pull up to kick it with your boy, you know what I'm saying? We can have some fun, eat some jello fries together, you know what I'm saying? Take some pictures and all that there. But without further ado, let's get this video started. First and foremost, if you are about to attend college for the first time, congratulations for getting accepted. I already know how the whole process of just applying to get into college was stressful and how time consuming and irritating it was, so congratulations on getting accepted to wherever you're about to attend. So now I'm about to give you guys some advice based off of my own personal experiences that might make your journey through college easier. This isn't even a part of the tips that I'm going to give you to help make your journey through college easier, but first and foremost, face your books. College is nothing like high school where you have several people who are on top of you to make sure that you are on the right path to graduate. There's no guidance counselors or professors who are about to call or email your parents to let them know that you're failing your classes. And there ain't no parent connect or any type of way for your parents to stay up to date with how you're doing in your classes unless you give them your log info and I doubt that you're gonna do that so you are on your own though. Just make sure that you have self-discipline and you stay on top of your work. Now let's get into the advice. You're gonna be forced to learn this as time goes by but it's better for you to acquire the knowledge of it now before it acquires you. Just always make sure that you have your priorities straight and learn how to balance out partying and being productive. But don't ever, ever, ever choose partying over being productive. If you have an assignment due the same day that there's about to be a lit function, bro, just choose to just stay back and do your assignment because the feeling that you're gonna have after getting it done and turning it in, is gonna be sensational. And to be honest, you're not really missing anything because most parties nowadays just be filled with the same people at a different location and there's always gonna be another lit party the next weekend. And if you willingly go to a party knowing that you have some work to do, but you're not gonna even be able to enjoy the time at your function because like the work is just gonna be bothering you in your head. And you might be able to push the idea of missing an assignment to the back of your head while you're turning up, but it's still gonna just pop back up in the front of your head and hit you at a random time while you're turning up. like. She throwing that thing back. Sheesh. Wait, did I really decide to not turn in my assignment just to come here? Damn, my GP about to drop. So always choose your fundamentals over the functions. Try to break up your assignments in different parts from the moment that it gets assigned to you to the moment that it's due. Especially if it's a big assignment, but regardless of how long you have to do the assignment, just make sure that you get it done ASAP. And if it's an assignment that's due within like a week or two, try to get it done a few days after it's been assigned to you. Drop that bad habit of procrastinating and waiting to do an assignment and finish it the same day that it's due. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all feel like y'all work better under pressure or in crunch time, but is it even worth spending a whole Sunday that you could be relaxing doing work, bruh? I just feel like it's better for you to work on your assignment right when it gets assigned so that you can rest later. And you don't gotta finish it in one day, like you can break it up in parts. So let's say you have a week to do a four page paper. You can work on one page of the paper every day for four days in a row and turn it in a day or two early. You feel me? Don't be that person that spends the free time they could use towards doing their work turning up like. <sighs> Just to spend your whole Sunday trying to do weeks worth of work in a few hours until 11.59. Confused as hell like. <laughs> Stop. 
stay on top of your shit. It's real easy to start wandering off and daydreaming in class, especially if you have a boring professor and a long lecture. So try your best to listen attentively and take notes. And when you're taking notes while listening, try to just jot down only the important things and add your own little twist on words, like use slang and stuff sometimes instead of just writing exactly what the professor says. It'll be easier for you to memorize whatever the professor is talking about if you jot down your notes in your own little way. The worst thing you could do is to sit through a whole lecture just out of it in your own little world and then snap back into reality at the end of the lecture like. Okay class, this sums up the lecture for today. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Class over? Hey Paul, you think you about to pass that test next class? Test? Um, uh, I, I think I'm gonna do pretty well. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. I'm gonna fail. So stay woke and take notes. This is the final tip and probably the most important tip that I could give you because college is stressful. I feel like it's a scam too, but we ain't even gonna get into that part today. School can stress you out in so many ways and it feels like the ways are always back to back. If you ain't dealing with an issue with financial aid, you're dealing with an issue with a bad professor. If you ain't dealing with an issue with a bad professor, your boyfriend or girlfriend is blowing you and distracting you from your work. If they're not blowing you and distracting you, your parents is complaining about some thing or the other, like it's just always something. So make sure that you take some time out to just have some you time. Just take a day out of the week here and there or just take a whole weekend out of the week just to relieve yourself from some stress and relax. Mental health issues are real and maintaining your mental health is very important, so make sure that you do so. And that's it. I hope that the advice and tips that I gave you in this video will be very useful to you and I wish you all the best in your collegiate career. Until next time, toodaloo. Hey, my friend, please follow me on all of the apps below and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Toodaloo!